Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Rhino Shield's full suite of available cases for the OnePlus 6T, and also doing a giveaway for these cases for the 6T and also the OnePlus 7 Pro. We've got the Crash Guard, two of their solid suits in different finishes, their new wide angle and macro lens, and also a really awesome screen protector. So, let's take a look. Starting off then with the solid suit, now this is a super tough protective case and it can actually protect your phone from a full of 11 plus feet or around 3.5 meters. It's also granted military grade in terms of standards in regards to the protection side of things, so it's definitely going to hold up well over time. In regards to some of the features that it offers, you've got a premium finish as you can see here. If I take this protector off the back, I've got the carbon fiber model plus one other which I'll show you in just a moment. It's a very durable material and you've also got raised lips which covers all of the angles in regards to if you're going to be dropping your device accidentally. It's a very snug fit, only comes in at around 3 millimeters thin and 30 grams so it's going to be extremely light. The buttons themselves are very responsive in regards to volume up, down and also the power button and you'd also have a through button here in regards to the toggle for vibrate, loud and also silent as well so that again as you can see is extremely responsive so it's good that there's not a massive hole in the side of the actual case itself. Now it does also play very well with screen protectors as well as the case itself doesn't come up too far onto the actual screen and I'm using the one here from Rhino Shield which I'll get onto in just a moment so again there's no issues whatsoever with regards to the cases. You've got cutouts on the bottom for the USB-C and also the speaker grills as well and you've also got a tiny hole at the top there for the microphone. The camera itself is also very recessed into the back as well, so in regards to putting this back down onto a table or even front down, you're not going to have any issues at all. Now the reason why there's such a big indent on the back is with regards to the camera accessory in regards to the lens which we'll look at in just a moment, but overall it's a very nice case, it feels extremely nice with this carbon fibre design as well, and it will also be linked in the description down below along with everything else that I'm talking about in this video. Next up then we have the solid suit in a more plain colour, but this one here here again does feel extremely nice peeling off the protective back here it's just a very nice matte black it doesn't really pick up too much in regards to fingerprints but it does also have a very rubbery and also a very grippy design to it as well that you don't really get with the carbon fiber model the carbon fiber one is maybe a little bit slippery compared to this one so if you're looking for that extra protection and extra grip then i would definitely go with the plain matte black model again all of the features are exactly the same in regards to how it plays with screen protectors how responsive the buttons are as well and and also the big cutout at the back for the camera accessories. So again, overall, if you're looking for a very rugged and also very protective case, then you can't go wrong with the solid suits, either carbon fiber or this matte black that I've got here. Next up then we have the Crash Guard and this happens to be one of my favourite cases of all time. I've had the Crash Guard for a bunch of different devices from iPhones to Pixel devices so it's great to see them offering it for the brand new OnePlus 7 Pro and also my 6T. Now again this is also going to give you 11 feet of impact protection but as you can see here it's just a very simple bumper case. And again, this one's going to come in at 3mm thick, has a really snug fit, it's also raised on all of the edges as well, which we'll get onto in just a moment, and it is also extremely light and 100% recyclable, so again, if you do, you know, change your mind and don't want to use it any longer, then if you put it in the recycle bin, you're doing something nice for the environment, I guess. Now this one though does have a completely open back, as you can see here, so for me, with my OnePlus 6T, it is definitely going to show a ton of fingerprints with that glass back. You can see how raised it is on the back as well to protect the camera hump and also on the front you do also have a very sizable lip as well so again if you do want to put this thing face down you're not going to have any issues there. So overall it's a really nice bumper case but you do have to look out for those fingerprints if you're using it with a glassed back phone like a OnePlus device. Next up then we have the impact protection which is basically the screen protector from Rhino Shield. Now this has six layers of protection so you've got a fingerprint resistant easy to clean top surface, scratch resistant surface, impact dispersion, impact dampening, high strength and also a zero residue adhesive bottom as well. So if you're going to be taking this on and off your device or reinstalling a new one you don't have to worry about there being any sticky residue left over. 
and the fit and finish of this screen protector is actually really nice. Now it does fit the exact size of the screen, so when you're going to install the screen protector, you do need to be very precise in regards to making sure that you've got it definitely lined up, as you don't want to have really any lips from the top, bottom or sides either, and I've actually done a whole video on how to perfectly install a screen protector, which I'm going to link in the description down below. The fingerprint sensor works perfectly fine, I've had no issues with that whatsoever, but one thing that I would say is I'm going to put a video link in the description to the Rhino Shield website where they've done a stress test on this screen protector. They've done things like hit it with a hammer, nails and a ton of other things and this thing holds up extremely well even maybe better than some tempered glass screen protectors. Next up then we have the 2-in-1 lens from Rhino Shield. Now this is going to give you a really awesome option in regards to getting a wide angle and also a macro lens on your already existing camera. Now the wide angle lens is going to give you around 105 degree field of view so it's going to be really awesome for getting some nice low down shots of some buildings or built up areas for example or just in general a really nice landscape where you're going to get a ton of stuff in shots. Now you've also then got the macro lens as well and this allows you to get around four times closer to your subject and that is extremely close. It's not really for everyday use but if you do want to get really close up to something or just in general check out the texture of certain things out and about this is definitely a great option to use. Now the lens itself couldn't be easier to actually use, it has a bayonet style quick release mount so all you need to do is just turn the lens 90 degrees either left or right and then you can just take the lens on and off as you need to. Now you will need to have this tiny adapter as you can see here but again you can pick that up from Rhino Shield's website, it would be nice if it came with either the case or the lens but unfortunately it doesn't. Now as you can see here it does protrude quite a lot from the actual phone itself but it's not really something that you want to keep on there all the time day to day. Now entering into the camera application, as you can see here it does have a slight vignette around the edge. Now what I mean by that is you can actually see the lens itself in the top left bottom right corners of the actual camera itself. So as you can see here there's slight dark areas down in the corner. So for me I actually need to zoom in around 1.1 times so that it actually gets rid of that effect. Now you can take the picture as normal and then zoom in after the fact but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Now you can also see here how much that 105 degree field of view does affect your photos, allowing you to get a ton more into the shot. So this lens is kind of comparable to what Moment are doing with their camera lenses, however this one only comes in at around $59.99 here in the UK, so you're definitely going to be saving yourself a ton of money. Now the cases themselves are also a little bit cheaper than what some other competitors are doing, so as an overall package it doesn't really work out too bad in regards to the cost to performance ratio. Now the case itself does still look nice with the actual camera mount on there, it's not for everyone's taste, but for me to have the option of putting on a wide angle lens onto my existing camera camera is a really awesome option to have. You do also have a lens protector for the actual main part of the lens and also the part that attaches to your phone as well, so again you're not going to have any issues with any scratching or any damage to the lens itself. And taking a quick close up of the lens here you can see the wide angle lens on top and then the macro lens is actually just below that. So what you need to do is unscrew the top element and that's basically going to get rid of the wide angle lens and leave you with the tiny macro lens underneath as you can see here. Now I'd definitely take your time with screwing and unscrewing the actual lens itself as you don't want to damage the thread and ruin the lens in the long run. Now the thing that I also love about this lens system is it works with any device as long as you've got a Rhino Shield case. So if I was to change from the Google Pixel 3 to the OnePlus 6T to another device, as long as I've got the correct case, this lens is going to go from device to device without any issue at all. But how do the photos actually look? Well, let's take a look. And I'm also going to be doing a full video comparison with this lens in July. So I'm going to be using it on a gimbal with the wide angle lens, 4K 60 frames a second. So make sure that you're subscribed for when that video drops here on the channel.
as you can see here, I've also got all of these cases for the OnePlus 7 Pro, so I guess it's giveaway time. And this couldn't be easier. All you guys need to do is make sure you're subscribed here on the channel, follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, and in around a month's time, I'll announce the winner, send out some cases and also some lenses. So again, good luck. And that's going to do it guys for this video. Now big thanks to Rhino Shield for selling out all of these products and helping me out with the giveaway. And again, I'm going to link their YouTube and also their page down below. So if you guys want to go and purchase any cases or lenses, then that's going to be the first link in the description down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and also comment anything that you want to know about anything in regards to the case. And also don't forget that giveaway, which again, like I mentioned, I'll be announcing the winner in around a month's time. If you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so i'm going to be doing a ton more giveaways moving forward and i've also got that camera test coming up with this case this lens a gimbal 4k 60 frames a second it's going to look insane so again make sure that you're subscribed and also turn on notifications so that you're notified anytime that i post a new video here on the channel i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video